Have you ever been curious about how the pharmaceutical supply chain works? Well, today I am gonna show you exactly how it works and each step along with it. This is an image showing you each of the steps that are used for the pharmaceutical supply chain. Pharmaceuticals represent a large portion of the costs in the healthcare industry due to the significant costs of these products and their storage and re control requirements. There are challenges and procedures at each step. Manufacturers. If I highlighted one of these titles in blue, it is showing you that I, uh, that it is an important step in the pharmaceutical supply chain, like very important. Manufacturers research, develop, and produce drugs. Pharmaceuticals originate in manufacturing sites and don't go directly from manufacturer to stores. Most people don't know this, but brand name uh, drug manufacturers devote a portion of their expenses to the research and development of new drug therapies, while generic drug manufacturers typically do not. Payers, other than patients that pay for care, normally insurance companies. The top five insurance companies that are normally used are United Health Group, Anthem, Anthenia, Cigna, and Humana. Pharmacy benefits managers, otherwise known as PBMs. They negotiate drug prices and usually with manufacturers on behalf of their payers' clients. Their main role for the supply chain focuses on improving cost savings, access, confidence, and safety uh, for consumers, employers, along with uh, unions and government programs. Wholesalers. They buy, they buy large quantities of drugs from uh, pharmaceutical companies and also distribute them. Today, wholesale distributors provide a range of speciality, uh, sorry, specialized drugs. Three main wholesalers, which account for about 85% of the market, include uh, Amerinosource, Virgin, uh, Cardinal Health, and McKenna. Uh, McKenza, sorry. Pharmacies. Receive drugs from wholesalers. Um, market leaders include stores like uh, CVS, Walgreens, and Walmart, and Rite Aid. Basically, any store where you go almost all the time to get uh, the groceries you need or any other basic supplies. And then they account for approximately 75% of the uh, prescription drug market. Specialty pharmacies. Manage the distribution uh, of expensive, uncommon, and fragile drugs. Well-known uh, specialty pharmacies include CVS Specialty and Alliance Rx. Patients. The final person who can receive drugs from either hospitals or uh, public uh, store pharmacies. And then this is an image I wanted to show you. Uh, I thought it was more detailed than the last one I had showing you um, how the drugs and uh, products get to uh, place to place. And basically each one of these steps um, I highlighted because they are the most important ones. Um, and the image I had before this uh, told you each one of the steps, but it didn't tell you which ones were the most important and how they got uh, to place to place. And then these are the sources I used. Thank you.